Rangers once again. I'm Matt Eisman. And I'm Mark Marvage and Via Miller. Matt, it's our third night of the semifinals. Last week, we only had one finisher. But we've got a lot of strong ninjas tonight. And we're going to jump right into a run with one of them. One of my favorite stories from the past few years. This guy's an under-the-radar superstar, Matt. Absolutely, big man. We're talking about the stallion, Mike Salenti. 35, the nine-time veteran has turned back the clock, and he's now a run everyone looks forward to. And the Stallion's going to give us our first look at this brand-new obstacle, over-under. You can go over like the Stallion just did, now has to do it one more time on the second one. Oh, that's the quick way. We'll see some take the slower, under-approach later. Well, the Stallion's galloping through this second obstacle, but it's always a stampede on his sidelines. Those are his friends, fellow ninjas from the Chicago area. Jumping up to our third obstacle, clockwork. Stallion generating some good power. This guy loves ninja. Was had a great career as a physical therapist, but gave it all up. Open a gym, be a manager, really pursue ninja full time. Talk about following your passion. Look out, ladies. The stallion is looking for a Philly. Yeah, he is one of ninja's most eligible bachelors. Girls, if you're listening, it's the full package right here. We can go on my phone. You know, I can put like. And people on it it is so much fun also i love water skiing and i got a trampoline in the living room you got to be cool with that yeah, we're trying to break the trampoline and if you are slide into those dms his dms are gonna be on fire tonight giddy up let's see if he can handle diamond dash I <laughs> he's gonna roll right into the fifth obstacle hopscotch gotta jump between those numbered boxes with small ledges to grab onto. Now look at that. The big name, the stallion, is short for the Italian stallion, like Rocky. Well, Salenti means silence in Italian, but this guy's been making a lot of noise the past two seasons. Started in Ninja 10 years ago. That's him in the box. But he's had his best success the past two seasons. Last year, hit three buzzers, made it to stage two. He is getting better with age. And he's on to the warp wall. Yeah, he's got to love all the support. His boys... They're sitting on the sidelines. The Stallion's going to run right up this wall. Just like that. Keep on. Yeah, this dude's a ton of fun. You can see why his students love training with him. Got a big group of them watching back at it up. They'll be going nuts if he hits a buzzer. Four obstacles away. First up, Salmon Ladder. It is a taxing course. And, you know, salenti has got a little bit of a narrow grip there. It's an interesting approach. You know, Bane perhaps using a little bit more back muscle, trying to save the forearm. No, definitely need a little extra for box office. Sam did a lot of runs last week. Yeah. These boxes are attached to bungee cords. Great job absorbing it. Yeah, he had his chin over the box. Now, this is the 14-inch box here with the blind hole. Nice. Got it. Mike Salenti really getting this night started with a bang. Going deep on this very difficult semifinals course. Getting a little spun around. Yeah, this one looks scary, man. Wow! But he's got it. Get off, Stallion. Get off! Uh oh. Get out of here. Get out of here. It's unstoppable. Wow. Wow. Well, the Italian Stallion always delivers at the box office. Another great ride for the Stallion. Hold up, did he just do a point to the ladies out there? Well, this guy's riding high, but now facing split decision. Diving boards are back, one of the most treacherous balance obstacles we've had, and the other choice is a brand new one flipped around. He's looking at it, oh, I don't know. This is a hard one, man. Safe play, probably flipped around, but he may have to go diving board. I'm telling you, Pat, I think the easiest path here is going diving board. you got to just trust yourself. Well, let's face it, there's no easy way out. There's no shortcut home. He thinks he has enough left in those arms. He's going with flipped around. Got to climb up these boards and flip them before you can make the leap. You can tell his heart's on fire. Burning desire to get through this. But we've never had our first athlete complete a semifinals course. This would be a first. Matt, he is blazing a trail for all the other athletes tonight. Got to flip this final board. What does he have left? This crowd behind him. My goodness, he is hanging on for dear life. He's literally hugging it, loving, flipped around. He's giving it everything he's got to finish this obstacle.
obstacle. Come on, come on. Get out of there. Can he survive the drop? Yes. Oh, boy. He's got to throw some. I don't know if he has enough grip strength to hold on to the bar. Man, throw in the towel. Oh, it. No, don't throw in the towel. Are you kidding me? 35 feet away from another buzzer for the Stallion. I told you, you don't want to miss a run by the Stallion. Josh needs to climb the 35 feet up the spider trap to hit that buzzer. Only had one ninja hit his semifinals button. This is so hard. Some ninjas never hit a semifinals buzzer in their career. But he is hurting right now. Two more sets of doors. Let's go. Lots of traction that lower body locking it in. Here we go. Final set. Oh, yeah. Get that in. Put the buzz on it. Nice. You stallion. You did it. The stallion delivers a knockout blow on this semifinals course. get stronger this course looked brutal how did you survive my friend oh, man, i'm like a fine wine you know <laughs> oh get better with time huh oh, top of the world the stallion hit that buzzer one more time everybody's riding the stallion gallop into vegas oh he's gonna have a lot of folks lined up for the dm tonight and what a way to get things started and that's just a preview of what we're going to see tonight at Universal Studios Hollywood. I will say, I'm excited for tonight's feature because it's in 3D. We're going to have doctors, dogs, and some dudes that you don't want to miss. Like the wild and crazy ninjas from Iowa. Chris Barron. Levi Enright. And the cat daddy, Jackson Twain. We're also going to see the Rock and Roll Speed Team in from Orlando, RJ Roman. Fastest time of the night. Along with the reigning women's champion, Jesse Flex LeBrec. One of the best who's ever done it. And the ninja that went farther than anyone last season, 16 year old Kate Lepsack. Just made history. And at the end of the night, our top two ninjas race up there on the power. It's been redesigned this year with some brand new elements, and we've already seen some amazing finishes. The winner takes a safety pass to Vegas. So get your popcorn ready for a big night. Oh. We're swinging for the fences on American Ninja Warrior. Welcome back to Universal Studios. Minutes ago, Connecticut teenager Javin Alexander hit the course with his... Hello, you can hear her from anywhere, Matt. The 17-year-old was impressive last year, making it to Vegas as a rookie. And he came out hot tonight, blazing through the early obstacles. Matt, oh my goodness, a shocking exit for one of last year's top teams. You try your best. I'm so proud of you. Colorado's Brandon Martin dresses to impress. Whoa! He hit the course in a onesie he made himself, along with made shoes and shin guards. The ostentatious attire gives him superpowers. And the colorful outfits seem to work. Here we go. Nice. As the 41-year-old dad had the best run of his career, rolling through the first five obstacles. He didn't stick the landing, but that's all right. But his special shoes were no help on the warp wall. Oh! He needs some new shoes. Oh, my goodness. As he failed on all three attempts. Oh! That has got to be devastating. Bouncing to the start line next is the bundle of energy known as Megan Rowe. She had a breakout season last year when she was known as the axe-throwing ninja from Wisconsin. But now, she's on a Rocky Mountain High. I'm still the axe-throwing ninja. <laughs> but, got a lot going on this year. I recently moved all the way from Green Bay, Wisconsin with my boyfriend Dalton, and now we are in Colorado. It's just, oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. We love to be outdoors. We love to rock climb. We love to disc golf. 
The 16-year-old made it to stage two last year. So focus, dialed in, nice. And he was cruising as he made his way to the back half. All right, come on, DiPerari. Oh! Now he'll have to wait and see if his run keeps him in the top 15. On the course right now, just flying through an army medic, Drew Nestor. That I love this guy's energy. He is so happy to be here. And he's headed to the warp well, and he is pumped. There is parents, they're as excited as he is from Sioux Falls, South Dakota in the Army National Guard. There's some of his fellow soldiers leading the beat that ball chain. On 
250 pounds, not a lot of weight, but hopefully enough to get all three gears moving. Did a good job. Wasn't bending a few arms, was driving with the hips, doing it again. You can see getting that power off. Nathan Green looking strong. And showing some love to his cheering section. Man, those aisle boys can make some noise now, can't they? Let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, Former track athlete needs to sprint across Diamond Dash. Nice. Perfect. Great athleticism. All right. He's reached the fifth obstacle, Hopscotch, in his three seasons, never made it past the fifth. Well, this really is a test of the grip strength and hand placement, and it's a challenge. He's having to split the hands. You can only focus on one. Nice. Ooh, okay. Nathan Green having the run of his life. Trying to make it into the top 15, earn a trip to Vegas. That's real challenging, a double outside grip. Line grabs. You can't right. see where your hands are going. Use peripheral vision. Ooh. And his brother Marquez is in tears watching this. Well, here we go. Another one. The free spinner. Line dead. Get out of here. Get out of there, Nathan. And he's done it. What a great moment for the Green Brothers. You can see Marquez is just overcome watching his brother succeed. It's a victory for both of them. Now, this is the first time Nathan has faced the warp wall. And he's got it. I've never got past five. I know. I know. Well, that means as much to Marquez as Nathan. They've gone through some tough times together. You can see just how connected they are. Other family members watching back in Wisconsin as well. This will be Nathan's first time in competition on a salmon ladder. All right. Come on, get your popcorn ready. Let's go. Pop. Pop. That's a slow, that's slow popcorn right there. Slow pace. You got it. You got it. One more. Come on. Get it. Come on. Put some butter on that. Nice. Well, he gets through, but it looks like he is starting to string. What does he have left for box office? Come on. Nice. Ooh, hold on. Hold on. The lead hand is a blind grab. 14 inch box on this one. Oh! The grip just gave out his best performance, but not enough to take down the box office. Well, only one was on the course, but this was a gut wrenching run for both Green Brothers. Nathan finally made it past the fifth obstacle, and with his brother in tears, he made it all the way to the eighth obstacle before running out of gas. Oh my goodness, I know. Wow. I love the brother that you're cheering up now. What are you feeling? Um, I've just been a nervous wreck, like, just waiting for him to run. Um, I know how hard it is for us not to be together. We do everything together. Um... And to not compete with him, I was like, he's doing it for the both of us. And he absolutely killed it. Got further than I have. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm just so proud of him. Well, I can't wait to see what's next for both of you. Good job out there tonight. <laughs> Guys, take it away. Back to you. Still to come, Jesse Flex LeBret goes for another semifinals buzzer on American Ninja Warrior. Moments ago, two ninjas with Chicago tried to rip through this semifinals course. The deaf ninja, Kyle Schulte, got one of the biggest receptions of the night with fans signing their support for the hearing impaired ninja veteran. You can see the audience waving their hands and the crowd had plenty to cheer about as Schulte worked his way through the early obstacles. Oh, oh, come on, come on. Nice. The grad student has had success, but in six seasons, he's never hit a buzzer. Go get it.
jumped over Akbar, who's six six. <laughs> Earlier tonight, he tried to vault over three ninjas at once. Ooh, but didn't quite clear fellow ninja Derek Pavoni. Oh, boom! Still, the leasing agent came into tonight with a lot of confidence after hitting a buzzer and qualifying. But he couldn't make the leap on the second obstacle. <laughs> Did he just break? Chicago area ninja, the guy who just got bonked in the head. Derek Baloney is on the course right now. Nice! Got his fiance and all those Windy City ninjas on the sideline. Baloney's known as the Pizza Ninja. His family owns a pizza joint back in Illinois, and he brought us a pie. Oh, yes. We got Baloney and cheese. Hey, this is for you, homie. Up on Hopscotch. In the handles on one, two, and three. Three quarters of an inch squared now. Down to half an inch and rounded. Difficulty goes up. There we go. Derek Pavoni trying to get Almost missed it with the left hand. Good save. We saw a bunch of top ninjas fail on this one last week. Come on. Let's go. But Pavoni continues to roll. Yeah, baby. Of Ninja Warrior, his first time at the Warped Wall. They're watching back at the family pizza restaurant and loving this run. This is big. Every ninja remembers their first Warped Wall. And he's got it. A great moment for Pavoni. It's up there. You got it. Come on, man. Come on. Love this guy. Always positive despite a tough year. His gym in Chicago burned to the ground in February. A huge loss for him and the kids he coaches. And there's some of those students. You can tell he is running for them this season. Well, getting his first buzzer would be a great end to that story, but he's got a ways to go. First time on the salmon ladder. Ooh. All right, come on now. Gets through the salmon ladder. The pizza ninja still rolling. Box office, get your popcorn ready. Well, you might have popcorn at home. I've got pizza right here in the host tower. This is the front and back. That front grab blind locks it in. Pavoni making the most of this semifinals run. Man, this is a nice movie right now. I'm enjoying myself. Well, this pizza has everything. Oh, oh, come on, come on. Are you kidding me? Let's go, baby. Yeah, Pavoni never made it past the fifth obstacle. Here he is in split decision. Tell me you're entertained. Tell me you're not entertained by that performance on box office. He can barely believe it himself, but he's reached the ninth obstacle. He has to make the choice of split decision. Will he try diving boards or the upper body test of flipped around? He says his arms are spent, so maybe he'll try diving boards.
shelter. And Rue looks cat-like going across the steps. There's Rue's wife, Clara, watching back in Minnesota with their dogs, Johnny and Juju. Rue's the old dog out here. At 45, he's the night's oldest competitor. But he's still been getting it done on the ninja course. The buzzer in qualifying a few weeks ago. Continues to compete because he wants to keep the spotlight on dogs like Weasel, who are looking for a new home. He's making short work of over-under. Points over at Weasel. How can you not love that face? <laughs> oh, man. All right, jump into this one, Clockwork. 58155 should be able to generate that power. When Rue's not saving dogs, he's working at the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota. To save humans, throw yourself up. There you go. Whoa! Oh, no. Rough row. Oh man, this has got to be rough, rough for Room Fury. Clockwork is a tough one to figure out. He got both hands on the bar, but couldn't hold on. No trip to Vegas for Room Yuri. But Rue got to spread his message, so get out there and adopt a dog like Weasel. He went further than anyone last season. His ticket back to Vegas when American Ninja Warrior returns. Welcome back to American Ninja Warrior at Universal Studios Hollywood, where you can soar over Hogwarts Castle, journey into Jurassic World, or let loose on Illuminations The Secret Life of Pets off the leash. And let's not forget the world famous studio tour, where you'll go behind the scenes on your favorite film sets. Make it your best. And he was still wearing his souvenir sweatshirt when he had the course minutes ago. Well, he's going to need that Hogwarts magic tonight, man, because the semifinals, it is brutal. The 17-year-old wears a pink ribbon on his shirt to raise awareness for breast cancer. But despite the serious message, he was having fun on the course. How sweet is that? Viper rolled to the back half. Looking confident as he swung through box office. Whoa! Oh! office will likely be the cutoff for the top 15, so Feinberg will have to wait and see if that gets him to Vegas. Well, Max's trip to Universal was with our next competitor, his good friend Caden Lepsack, who, oh yeah, went further than anyone last season. He and Max had a wager on last year's competition, and today, Caden paid it off. A couple years ago, Max made a bet. I would buy him a smoothie. He would buy me a ticket to Universal if he won American Ninja Warrior. And Caden won. Yeah! Caden Lapsack is the last ninja standing at 15. He's just made history. I've been wanting to go to Universal Studios for a super long time. And it was just amazing with all its sets, all its cool food. Max was definitely a tourist at Universal. He bought a whole bunch of stuff, took a lot of pictures, and I think we went on every single ride. Me and Caden may be an odd couple, but when we're together, we're just having a ton of fun. Both me and Max hit buzzers in semifinals last year, so hopefully we can keep hitting buzzers together. Max is on the sideline with a bunch of other ninjas. Caden's parents also over there. Mom's always nervous, even though he's never fallen in the water. last year already got one this year the goal of course is six total victory 16 years old and has a really good shot at hitting all six buzz kid has a lot of power it really flies through the air trains up to eight hours a day and it shows right through over under clockwork don't think he's tardy here he gets it early is on time. On time is late. Wow. Great timing. Just launched himself there. Good kick with those hips. He's a great student in school. Great student of ninja. This kid does nothing but study the game. No balance obstacle. Diamond dash. And flies through it. Hops relieved he got past the balance obstacle. As Lepsack glides. Trust me, these courses are not easy, but this kid is in a class by himself. One of the best ninjas ever, and he's only 16. 
I just handled the expectations and pressure of being the defending last ninja standing. You can see how calm he looks. Like, that right there is the strength of a ninja. Look at that. Nice adjustment. I think that's what's impressed us so much about these young athletes, and Caden in particular, is that they're measured up to the moment. One down to the back half of the course. Only the stallion, Mike Salenti, has finished so far. Could Kate be the second buzzer tonight? Hey, don't bet against Kate Lepsack, because he's about to get it done. Not even stopping to take a rest, going right up to Salmon Ladder. Come on, Woo! Do you, you hear that? Just listen. That, that right there tells you he's got enough to make it to box office. See that front hand is going to be a blind grab. Nice. Ooh. Yeah, he saw that. He caught the corner, made the adjustment on the go. Yeah. And another good transfer. Mama is sweating through every move out there. Come on. Yeah. And he is through. Yeah. And he looks like he's taking a casual stroll as he walks to split decision. Does this kid ever get to
Swan, Ethan Swanson, flew through the first part of the course and had everybody flapping their wings. The Swan is about to take flight. The nighttime veteran was looking to get back to the national finals after missing out the past two years. And he just cut the box office down to size. When he reached split decision, he took the opposite approach from Cotton and tried the balance obstacle. Iowa's definitely been expanding as a ninja hotbed. I might even say the ninja hotbed. Wow, big kick! Ninjas from Iowa have dominated tonight. And this year, I'm back in semifinals competing with my best friends, the ninja teens, Chris and Levi. He won that mega wall! Yeah! He's pumped up! He's pumped up! San Antonio went pretty good for the bros. Jackson Twain, full speed ahead. We crushed it. The two together. Much better. Yeah. Double noggin buzzer! Oh, 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 oh. The Iowa boys definitely want to look out for. It's because we're corn fed. But we've never actually made it to Vegas. So we've been putting in the work, training hard, and we're going to be hitting buzzers all day. Well, you know the Iowa boys are going to make some noise on the sideline. They're over there with the Green Brothers, Jackson's mom. Jackson Twait is too good to never go to Vegas. I think that's going to change tonight. Jackson Twait has shown flashes of brilliance. He got the mega wall last year and is almost always among the fastest in qualifying. Making the most of those nine lives. Can 
Using the long reach, and you gotta use it. Well, look at her generating a lot of power with those hits. Okay. A batter's power comes from those hits. Now on to clockwork. We saw Maggie Owen fall here moments ago. You can really struggle here if you can't generate swing. Seems to be getting these gears moving. That's been a challenge tonight, yeah. especially for the lighter competitors. Has a lot of length. Oh, oh. Catching smoke for it. I like it. Uh, she relies on those long arms. With a little intro, she said, you know what, I'm just going to swing for it. Nice. Got it. Wow. And she gets through. That's got to give the rookie some confidence. Now facing Diamond Dash. She's a base dealer, Matt. She can go. Nice and right through Diamond Dash. Woo! Of course, the softball player comfortable on the diamond. Of course. Now it's hopscotch. I see you. I see you. Yeah. There it is. Knock this one out the park. She's got her initials KJP on her shirt, but she's going for MVP right now. Taking on hopscotch. Megan Rose, the only other woman to reach this point tonight. JJP is a boss. Three, nice. Now for the double wide blind grab. JJP is not messing around. Oh, how did she say that? Okay. Had the left hand, got the right hand. Into the free spin. Nice. Oh, my goodness. Okay, KJP. Only one woman best in last week. KJP at 16 beats on Scott. It is child's play for her. Now her first attempt at the war wall. This is like the green monster in Fenway. Can she go yard? Not yes, yet. she okay. can. KJP. She's already getting recruited by college coaches, and you can see why she is a natural athlete. Let's see what she does on the salmon ladder. What a run. We lowered the age limit last year, and she's now the second teenage girl to reach the back half of the semifinals course. Isabella Wakeham was the first to do it last year. Come on. Nice. It's like pots and pans banging away. Those arms getting extended. Ooh, what does she have left? He's cooking up something. Come on. Nice. Well, let's see it. Got it. She's doing a great job. Well, let's see if she can be the natural at the box office. Oh, splashes down. But that's the best run by a woman tonight. Makes it to the eighth obstacle as a rookie. Man, that was great. Look at this. The softball player showed off a strong arm on clockwork. Was safe running across diamond down. And displayed power going up salmon ladder. Her only error was at the end. She got her right hand hung up on the bar, and that caused an awkward fall. And this 16-year-old is going to the national finals. KJP may be in the running for rookie of the year. Well, Captain NBC is ready to fly, and Jamie Ross got some big news to share. His run is coming up next on American Ninja Warrior. Check out what just happened. Can the bomb bomb gardener was looking for his second straight finish in the semifinals. He wants that buzzer, Matt. The 24-year-old gymnastics coach from the Chicago area is one of the sport's top talents. And he had no problem on the front half of the course. Go get what's yours. Go get it. All right, Cam. Bomb has got to be explosive. At split decision, he went with flipped around and had to wrestle his way through. Uh-oh, oh, oh, no, no. No, 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 no. Okay, but he survived. And the four-time veteran is going back to Vegas, our fourth finisher of the night. He's down. 15-year-old Ethan Gardolski was one of the great stories from qualifying. Though he suffers from anxiety, the Michigan teenager motored his way through the course and got a bomb on his very first run. Tonight, though he only weighs 100 pounds, Gardolski was able to power his way past the early obstacles. This dude can go. And he was looking strong as he swung through clockwork. Shot, pop, pop, pop. But just couldn't hang on. So close. 
pro handball player Gary Hines brought his impressive physique all the way on a show. The muscled up 38-year-old nicknamed Hang Time was impressed. Okay, Hang Time Hines. And the handball player showed good hands on hopscotch with a two-finger save. Come on, man. I'm telling you right now, my index and middle finger can't do that. Hines got a buzzer in qualifying and had another strong run tonight. Oh! Before he was bounced on box office. We'll have to wait and see if that gets into Vegas. Iron Man, Spider-Man, and Captain America have all filmed scenes right here on New York Street. But up next is Ninja's favorite superhero, Captain NBC, Jamie Ron. First competed 12 years ago, we've seen this man grow up, and now he's working on an origin story. We've been trying to, you know, have a kid for three years now. We got testing done and found out that our chance of it happening naturally was like 2%. And so we decided to try IVF. Going through so many shots and procedures and everything else to hopefully become pregnant and find out that you're not, um, which was very hard. And run with me, run with me, run. Jump with me, jump with me, jump. But I have him, and I have lots of family and lots of friends um, that were just there to hug me or just let me sit there and cry. The world ain't got nothing on us. After two years of trying IVF, you know, we decided to take a little break, and that's actually when we got lucky. I was getting ready for the winter, closing up the pool, and dropped an umbrella weight on my foot. Knowing that I needed to get an x-ray done, they made me take a pregnancy test. In addition to a broken toe, uh -huh. I was also pregnant. Look at that cute little button nose. Yeah. So we're having a boy. Couldn't be more excited. Right above where his head's going to be. Yeah. Jamie has just been standing right beside me. Hey. He's been bringing me apples and ice cream, yeah. holding my hand, telling me he loves me, telling me I'm pretty. You know, our whole lives are about to change. We're ready for it, though. Kim's been amazing through this process. I love to hit a buzzer for it with little baby Jay on the sideline. It just means the world to me. Run with me, run. Jamie's got Kim on his sideline wearing the green wig. She's due very soon. There it is. Oh, buzzer for baby. Buzzers for baby. That's great. Missed one of his runs. Did he make his own sound? The superhero doing his own sound effects. You know this guy can generate power. Great as a shade. Well, yeah, of course he's a superhero. Of course he can generate power. Oh, what there we go. go. You can see no capes, though. Real superheroes don't need pain. 5'10, 170, should have no problem moving the gears here on clockwork. What a journey it's been for him. When we first saw him back in season two, he was kind of a nerdy cosplay kid from New Jersey, but he worked at it and became one of the very best ninjas. Now this guy's married, having a baby, runs a successful gym in St. Louis. There's some of the students watching back in Missouri. Now the Diamond Dash. All right, come on. Nice, great footwork. He's going to be doing a lot of this with his baby, playing hopscotch. And there's a good look at his left thumb. He cut part of it off with a table saw a couple years ago. His grip had been a little impacted, so anytime you're on something like this, this may be his vulnerability. Hasn't slowed him down much, though. Made it past semifinals the past two years. And he's through five obstacles tonight. Looking over at Kim. Take a breath before the warp wall. There we go. Nice. Not his son is someday going to be able to watch this video. Jamie will say, you were there, kid. Nice. There you go. 
Just rolling around here <laughs> like a little rolling. Why not have fun? Uh, and with a baby all the way, that's a lot of expenses. He'd love to win that million dollars in Vegas. The national finals seven times in his career. He wants to guarantee another trip. He'll need to get past box office. The way he did that, man, I think he's going to make it through box office. Box office could be a challenge, although superhero movies traditionally do well at the box office. Really got to get the grip locked in, and he did it. And you saw the way he came in compact so he can absorb the drop. The blind grab here with that lead hand blind grab. Got it. That's impressive. Well, it's not a blind grab for Captain NBC. He can see right through it. I believe X-ray vision is one of his powers. Now the smaller cube here. All right, keep the cube rolling. Keep the box office move and it means he's got a dilemma last season in the semifinals was taken out by the diving boards will he try them again the new fun stuff uh, yeah. how's everything feeling not great but but it's fun yeah you heard him talked it over with his wife and he's gonna go with the fun option flipped around though i don't think it's gonna be fun well that flipped around is a beast especially after eight other options Oh, he can oh, see he's fighting. He's fighting. He's got to find his foot fighting. He's using a lot of grip strength there, man. Oh, the arms are fatigued. You can see he's wrapping his legs to take some pressure off. Oh, boy, he's struggling to get up top. Well, this is just a grip bump. trip back to vegas but on the ninth obstacle his arms were dead and he couldn't hang on as he got flipped around and Zerby's with Janie for the nerd wallet post-run interview how we doing wetter than i'd like to be but i'm all right understandable and of course you've got your beautiful wife kim we've got a bun in the oven how special is it for you to have them cheering you on on the sidelines tonight i don't know if he can hear it yet but i'm, I'm excited they're here wait 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 hold on i just realized we've got a little onesie yeah. for him ready to I go for the buzzer but we didn't get there well i've got some good news redemption is near okay we've got buzzers in vegas and that's where you're headed yeah. we will see you in the national finals congratulations baby and congratulations This post-run interview brought to you by NerdWallet, the smartest decision for all your financial decisions. She's the reigning queen of American Ninja Warrior. She will not give up with more buzzers than any other woman. Again for a third time, Jesse Flex LeBrac runs next on American Ninja Warrior. So we know he can go. 5'6", 145. 
He does. He absolutely shreds. He's got a big jump here. And there it is. Got a big group of friends on the sidelines, including Flip Rodriguez. Work ball should be no problem. And up and on to the back half of the course. Matt, he's not stopping to talk. No stopping to rest. He wants to get to that power tower. That safety pass is so valuable. Yeah, critical. Right now, he's got a chance to beat Jackson Twait for the fastest time. A lot of people think R.J. Roman can win it all. If he has a safety pass in Vegas, that would improve his chances exponentially. It's quick work of the salmon ladder. Now on to box office. This is the one that can slow you down here. You got to be very, very intentional too, knowing the timing here. Get that timing. Get enough up to give yourself the time to make that grab, just like that. Well, R.J. Roman's going to have a big decision to make if he gets off box office. Well, Matt, he is a box office hit right now because he is running this course, I mean, perfectly. And looks like he's going to survive box office, and he does. He had a split decision. So last year in a similar position, he chose diving boards, and he fell. He ain't going back that way. He could get through flipped around, but he's going to think about it. Looking to his sidelines for advice. Yeah, you heard that. He just said he's kind of bummed, so maybe he'll go diving boards. Still got a shot at the top time. Nope, took one look and he's going back to flip around, even if the arms are tired. Here we go. Nice, all right. This will definitely take more time than if he'd gone with the diving boards. RJ Roman making good progress here. All right, here we go. We've had four finishers so far. Ah, he's got to fly now. Uh oh. Shaking out those forearms. Set his arms were tired. Can they hold out a little longer? With that power, try to lock it in. Almost there. But as we've seen, this dismount is no gimme. Makes the grab. RJ Roman looks like he's getting through. Oh boy. Uh oh. We got something here. We got action. Well, he's not going to beat Jackson Twain for the fastest time, but he can move ahead of Ken Lexack for second. That would still put him on the power tower. Flashes the rock and roll horns as the crowd chants his name. It's like being on stage at a rock concert. He's got a hustle. He's got a hustle. It's going to be close. Oh, boy. Here we go. Got about 20 seconds left to be in Lexack. Through the second set of doors, just needs a final push. Clockwork. 
These three gears get them moving. Got to generate power. Flex never a shortage of power. He's a boss. Come on. Come on, you guys. Come on. All right. Come on. 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 Even the great Flex Lebrec. She didn't look comfortable on this first gear. Couldn't generate a good swing, but just decided to go for it anyway. And only got one hand on the bar, and she will not be in Vegas for the first time in her career. Just so silly. It's all right. Wow, it is going to be weird not having her in Vegas. Oh. down to the final runners in tonight's semifinals. While we were away, it's Chris DeGangie, who had to shake off the shocking fall of his fiance Flex LeBrac, minutes ago. Go on, Chris! Unlike Flex, Chris was able to figure out the timing on clockwork. He's an FE for Chris DeGangie. The 10-time veteran was cutting for his third semifinals buzzer and looked under control as he took on Hopscotch. Oh! 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 Meaning he and Flex will both miss the national finals. Are you kidding me? Then it was one of the crazy Iowa ninjas, Chris Barrett, who was cheered on by his Iowa bros, Levi Enright and Jackson Quaid. Barrett's had the night's fastest time back in qualifying, and he was running wild again tonight. Oh! The college student was trying to earn his first trip to the national finals. Nice! I think he's going for the power tower. And he raced to the eighth obstacle box office quickly. Ooh. It was fast enough for Zuri to share some good news. Congratulations. We'll see you at the national finals. Get out there, man. So right now, this is our power tower matchup. The speedster from Orlando, RJ Roman, would be racing against Iowa's cat daddy, Jackson Twait, who has the night's fastest finish. But there's one more athlete to run, and he's headed to the start line. A run. They're normally drinking protein shakes, but not tonight. They brought the Iowa corn? What in Sam Hill is going on out here? They're having a race. Who can eat their corn on the cob the fastest? Looks like Levi has a big lead. Oh, an easy win over Chris. Matt, he's going in for seconds. Eat the other one, too. Well, not a traditional pregame meal, but these guys are anything but traditional. I was been well represented tonight. That group watching back in Cedar Falls has had plenty to cheer about. Levi's fiance down on the sideline. She's the cousin of Chris Barrett. This is such a tight-knit group from the Hawkeye State. Can Levi continue the stellar performances out of Iowa tonight? Let's see if this is his field of dreams. We know we're going to have one Iowa on the power tower, Jackson Twain. Levi Enright would love to be right there with him. Well, these guys are goofy off the course, but they deliver on it. He got a buzzer and mega wall back in qualifying. got some serious upper body strength, Matt. Levi tried to break the 24-hour pull-up world record. He did almost 7,000 pull-ups. They had to take him to the hospital for exhaustion. Can you imagine doing 7,000 pull-ups? That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. We know he's got that back strength, got that grip strength, and he's moving it here on clock. His first trip to the national finals. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. Whoa, okay. Only the second season for Levi Enright and Chris Barrons, and it has been a breakout year for both of them. They put Iowa on the ninja map. Jackson Twaits, the elder statesman of the group. It's his fourth season. He will be on the power tower. Levi Enright trying to join in there. And he is looking locked in here. These dudes have fun, but they are serious ninjas. 
They have worked for it. They put in so many hours at their Ninja Gym back in Cedar Falls. Nice. And I like it. I got my protein, Matt. I got my protein.
entire state of Iowa will be watching. And their allegiances are split. Back in Cedar Falls, they're wearing blue shirts for Levi and yellow for Jackson. On the sidelines, there's Levi's fiance and Jackson's mom. And even they're cheering for both. That's how close this Iowa Ninja community is. This one's going to be good. This is their field of dreams, our power tower. Two boys from Iowa battling for a safety pass. Ninja War! 